Welcome back to another episode of Treasure Hunting Sonic. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Sonic school supplies. Anything from pencils, pens, um, pencil cases, sharpeners, crayons, folders. We're going to be talking about it today. So it's going to cover all generations of Sonic and let's get started. So first off we have, let's see, a set of Sonic X pencils with these round erasers at the top. The pencils themselves have various Sonic X characters on them. You got Sonic, you got Eggman, you got Rouge right there, Shadow. This one over here has Amy and Cream. And then this one just has Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, and Sonic. Give you a better look at the erasers there. The erasers are just basic Sonic in different poses. These came to me for free with uh, some stuff I bought from a fellow collector in Spain. She included these in the box. Those are really cool. Um, actually, a lot of these writing utensils came to me for free. This came to me from uh, Adam, who is a huge Sonic collector. He's known in the Sonic community. It's a 25th anniversary pin. It's got Boom Sonic, Modern Sonic, and Classic Sonic right there. Green Hill background with some rings. It's a really cool pin. He gave me this back in, I think it was Christmas 2016. He sent me a Christmas card and this came with it. Really appreciate it. Here we have a mechanical pencil of Tails. If I can focus a little, a little better on it. Got the Sega Sonic logo right there at the top. It's got a little bit of lead left in it. Um, it's got one of those uh, infamous inspirational quotes that a lot of Sonic uh, items had in the mid 90s. It says, to live a life of power, you must have a faith that you believe, what you believe is right even if others tell you you're wrong. Thanks for the life advice, Sonic merchandise. Here we have a Sonic Adventure pencil. Hasn't been sharpened, has no eraser. It's got a stock art from Sonic Adventure of Sonic and Tails. This came to me from another, um, a seller actually, when I, for free when I bought some stuff. Me and the seller are pretty good friends now. Never met it, but maybe one day. Here's a set of uh, Sonic Adventure pencils with Tails and Chow pencil toppers from Toy Island. These are extremely rare. Found these at Walmart for, I think they were like $2.99. A lot of this stuff didn't even make it out. If you look closely at the pencils there, it's kind of hard because the, pack, the plastic is kind of yellowing. You got a Chow, you got Eggman, you got Big, you got Tails. You got Knuckles, you got Sonic, and then you got another Sonic. And there's the other pencils they made. Sonic, Eggman, Knuckles, and Big. These remind me a lot of the gel pens, which we'll talk about later. Before I go on, I'm gonna show this little pouch here. This was a product of the United States in, I believe, 1993. Yeah, 1993. And uh, it came in a blister pack with uh, a ruler, a sharpener, and a pencil, and an eraser, which I'll show you guys later. I actually took this to school with me when I was a kid. I opened it and used all the stuff stupidly. This is the pencil it came with. Just got some stock art of Classic Sonic. Racer is completely worn down. Here's the sharpener it came with. Here's the ruler. Pretty sure this is the only Sonic ruler I own. Here it is. 
Here's the eraser. Not in the best shape, but still a Sonic item. Here's a couple more erasers. This is a Sega Sonic eraser, and it has some of that art from the Sonic screensaver that you might recognize. It's, uh, you can see Eggman and Tails on it as well in the, in the background. On the back side, you have uh, Sonic on a motorcycle. This one's still sealed. Here's a Sonic X eraser, still sealed as well. has cream, cheese, Amy, Tails, and Sonic. And on the other side, you can see Shadow, Rouge, Dr. Eggman, Knuckles, another Tails in a weird position, and Sonic. This eraser is actually pretty special. It actually came out of those promotional cans from that Sega press event that I showed in a, one of my previous videos. It's uh, been about three years now, two years maybe. That video should still be on YouTube if you wanna check that one out. It's before I had the treasure hunting Sonic persona. So yeah, about 2016. And it's the um, American stock art of him sitting in the beach chair, drinking, wearing sunglasses. 1993. This racer came to me from a former Sonic collector, Peter Robinson. So I'm assuming it's from the UK. It's uh, just a plain white racer with some Sonic stock art on it. Two more racers here that are pretty cool. First you got a Sega Sonic, Sonic and Metal Sonic Eraser with the Sonic CD art. I don't remember where I got this. I wanna say it was eBay. And here's another Sega Sonic Eraser that has that Sonic screensaver art. And this one you can see, let's see if I can focus here. You got Sonic in a spaceship, and you got some, you got a Flicky above him. And then this one, there's Sonic and Tails on a ship with some animals. And I remember in the original image, uh, Dr. Eggman was in a boat back here. And he was pretty sure he was in this, uh, this rocket ship here. Here we have one of the Knuckles, one of the Toy Island accessories, which is a Knuckles pencil sharpener. Got a sharpen right under his dreadlocks there. Comes apart somehow. So there you go, there's the inside of Knuckles. Again, this is a pretty rare one. <clears throat> I used to have one of these sealed, but I traded it, and then I got this open one off eBay. Here's a couple of uh, Sonic X pencil sharpeners. These are from the same line as those first pencils I showed. Pretty much all the same characters. This one has a, uh, what's that robot called, Missile Wrist? Again, these are from Spain. Here's a Sonic pencil case that I recently got in Japan at Don Quixote. Features a 16-bit classic Green Hill theme. Sonic right there with the checkpoint. Cost me 500 yen, which is roughly $4.50 in American dollars. Just so happened to be walking by the school supplies and happened to see this out of the corner of my eye. Even though in Japan I'm always keeping an eye out for Sonic stuff. Here's a pencil case from 1993. This is actually European. It's got Sonic and Tails on it. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 logo. Basic zipper pouch. Hold all your school supplies in there. Here is another item from that line. 
Spain line. It's a Sonic X zipper pouch. And this one's pretty cool because it has a Dr. Eggman charm hanging off of it. It's not really hard plastic, it's kind of bendy. Here's the tag, written all in Spanish. Here's the last pencil case I'm gonna show. It's a Sega Sonic pencil case that I actually bought off eBay a really long time ago. I wanna say I bought it in like 1998, one of my very early items. It's another space picture. It's got Sonic here in a ship, Eggman here in a ship, and Tails just kind of floating out in space. On the back, you got the Sega Sonic logo with Sonic and Tails. Now let's open it up. So I believe these are the pencils that came with it originally. They're Sega Sonic uh, with Sonic and Tails on there and the Sega Sonic logo. These are in like a silver foil finish and then you got a gold foil finish if I can get a hold of it. I don't think these pencils, these uh, Sanrio pencils came with it, but I just think this is really interesting. Everybody thought it was fascinating back in 1998 when I had a pencil that did this. Here's the inside of the case. Again, I don't think that little lock with keys came with it either. There's nothing to lock. The tray is once again the art, space art. You actually see a Flicky and a Penguin over here. Really like that one. Here's something everybody always likes when I post. It's a thing of uh, Crayola pencils with the Sonic giveaway on it. These are another item I got off eBay about, I would say, five or six years ago. You can win this Sega prize pack with the Sega Genesis, Sega CD, a Miniser, all these games. And the contest was you would get this Sonic pencil in each box. It's a yellow pencil with some uh, American Sonic stock art, and it had yellow lead. Well, if you sharpened it down about a uh, quarter inch or half inch, I think it might have been, uh, and it turned blue, you actually won. Sadly, this wasn't the winning pencil. I mean, if it was, probably too late to claim the, the prize. And I know there was more than just these colored pencils that featured the giveaway. I remember seeing a box of markers at my elementary school with Sonic on them as well. Here is a set of Brazilian crayons. There was a lot of Sonic and Sega items just in general that were unique to Brazil. These are the crayons here. They don't have any kind of wrapper on them or anything. It doesn't actually say the colors, like most American crayons have. And if I'm not mistaken, it's written in Portuguese. Nineteen ninety three again. Got some Green Hill art on there. Stairs leading to nowhere. This loop doesn't seem to have any uh, ending, or it just kind of ends in the water there. There was uh, several other items from this line. I know I have a Brazilian exclusive, uh, some party invitations, and I believe a banner. But just Google Brazil exclusive Sega items, you'll go down a rabbit hole, trust me. Here's the gel pin set from Toy Island. You got a Chow, Eggman, Sonic, Knuckles, Tails, and Big. I posted this several times on my various social medias, and a lot of other collectors have this. I found it in the early 2000s at Big Lots. I think it was $5. And um, I got two sets, one to keep sealed and one to open. And here's a bunch of the canceled items. Uh, there you got the pencil toppers, which I already talked about in this video. They were going to have these colored pencils that were very similar to the pencil toppers. These were desk organizers, which uh, were basically those deluxe talking figures, but with a 
I guess, an empty space underneath. These were 3D erasers, and I actually used to own these. I found these the same time as I found the pencil toppers, but I traded them because I'm an idiot. Uh, the deluxe desktop set. Um, there's the Knuckles pencil sharpener. I'm not really sure what these other things were. I don't know if they were other pencil sharpeners. You know, why you would need four, I don't know. Um, I actually think Sonic might have been a tape dispenser. I could be wrong, though. You got rulers, and I thought these were pretty cool. Look at that, they got little uh, 3D models of uh, Sonic Tails and Knuckles on them. And then there's scissors. And I thought those were cool as well because there's never been Sonic scissors. I know the desktop organizers, I actually saw um, a former Sega employee sell on eBay back in early 2017, but they went for like an ungodly amount of money. And it always bothered me that Sonic's colored pencil was white. Just like white crayons, like they were pretty useless. Moving into our last couple of items here. This item and the next item are gonna be some of my very first Sonic items. This is a, tra uh, a folder, a hole punched folder. And I got this at a, a grocery store actually called Cash and Carry back in, I think it was like 19, I think it was 1995. I think it was the first year I started collecting Sonic. Um, it's got a screenshot of launch base zone from Sonic, Sonic 3 in, on the background. And there's some Sonic uh, stock art in the front. Same thing on the back. Tails is getting hit by the fire there. You now if you open it up, that's actually an Amy drawing that was done by uh, former artist Stephen Butler. That's unrelated. If you open it up, you got some information about the planets. Got a little uh, poem there to say to remember them. But it's outdated because Pluto's not a planet anymore. Some facts about planets. I actually use this, so it's not in best condition. And here's our last item. It is the Sonic and Knuckles Trapper Keeper. I don't know if you guys remember Trapper Keeper, but these were really popular in the early 90s. And I think I found this the same time I found the folder. And as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. Yeah, see, I used it in the second, fourth, and fifth grades. So that would have been 1995 through 1998. And I use it to house all my uh, Sonic trading cards. And here in the back is a bunch of uh, Sonic images I printed back when I was a kid. Screensaver and whatnot. Mecha Sonic, remember him? I, I, I really love those Sonic uh, screensaver images. They were great. Like, look at that. Dr. Eggman falling out of a hot air balloon. When are you ever going to see that again? Anyway, that's it. That's most of my Sonic school supplies. Do you guys have any that I didn't talk about here? Um, did you guys ever see any of those unreleased Toy Island school supplies yourselves? Um, do you remember any of these as a, from when you were a kid? Let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.